which are coming in from the state of Himachal. Uh, this is an update. Pratibha Singh supporters are outside the Congress office. They demand that she be made the Chief Minister. Pratibha Singh, the wife of late uh, leader and the former Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Veer Badi Singh, has been one of the key faces in the campaign of the Congress Party in the state of Himachal Pradesh. There are multiple faces which are fighting within the Congress Party to be the Chief Ministerial face. There's an important Legislative Party meeting which I believe has also been held with the Congress Party. There are central observers who are present right now but that kind of sloganeering happening only tells us the kind of things and the factionalism which is happening within the grand old party reactions lined up for hamare jo himachal pradesh ki congress ki adhyaksha hai unki upasthiti mein puri congress party jeeti hai aur unko iska shreya milna chahiye kyunki teen bari wo member of parliament rahi aaj wo mukhya mantri ke haqdaar hai मेरा नाम जितेंद्र चौहान है हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि हम हॉली लॉज के साथ हैं और हमेशा लास्ट तक हॉली लॉज के साथ ही रहेंगे हम प्रदेश का मुख्यमंत्री श्रीमती प्रीतिभा सिंह जी को देखना चाहते हैं क्योंकि इस प्रदेश का हित के लिए श्री प्रीतिभा सिंह ही एक ऐसे नेता हैं जो इस प्रदेश के लिए मिलजुल कर चला सकते हैं क्योंकि इन्होंने पहले भी मंडी पार्लियामेंट्री चुनाव को जीता है सुखविंदर जी, जी भी एक हमारे नेता हैं लेकिन इस समय रानी साहिबा ही ज्यादा समर्थित नेता हैं जिनके समर्थक यहाँ पे आप उनको ज्यादा जुर्वा है राजनीति का उनकी अध्यक्षता में ही कांग्रेस पार्टी सत्ता में आई है Well, those are the sort of reactions coming in. I want to cut across to Akash. Akash, uh, what happened at the legislature party meeting, and why are these people sloganeering? Does it uh, does it look like that it won't be a peaceful resolution? There is some factionalism which is clearly brewing, perhaps getting out of hand as well. So, Anusha, as of now, these are the supporters of Pratibha Singh, and the, these people are raising slogans that Pratibha Singh should be the next Chief Minister. This is the area, Shimla urban area, and we know that uh, specifically in this area, you know, uh, Pratibha Singh has got a lot of supporters. In fact, this is not the first time. Just a few minutes back, we saw that how Bhupesh Baghel's car was stopped, and how uh, you know slogans were raised in front of that particular car as well. Talking about the CLP meeting, so uh, you know, at around 6 p.m., we are expecting this meeting, and a resolution would be passed. Yes, as you rightly mentioned, that we can expect some sort, some sort of Roar before uh, that particular meeting, but it would be interesting to see because you know on one hand we have these people who are uh, you know raising these slogans that they want their Rani Sahib to be the next Chief Minister. On the other hand, we have these leaders who are coming out in public that they would be accepting whatever High Command would decide. Now it would be interesting to see if the resolution can be passed in that particular meeting because you know as far as this particular meeting is concerned, so initially it was scheduled for 12 p.m. Then it uh, you know then it was rescheduled for 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. and now finally it is going to happen at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, things are. Not very easy here in Himachal Pradesh, and in some time from now, we'll get some sort of clarity as to who will be the next CM, CM, or if this resolution is passed successfully or not. All right, uh, that's the sloganeering happening in Shimla uh, by the supporters of Pratibha Singh. They demand that she should be made the Chief Minister. We have heard her son as well speaking that the entire election campaign for the Congress Party was won on the name of his family, on the family of Pratibha Singh's name, Veer Badru Singh's name. And now, when the results have gone in the favour of the Congress Party, the family can't be just abandoned. Pratibha Singh deserves to be the Chief Minister. That's what her son has said, and they have very openly staked claim for the Chief Ministerial. Face, to be the chief ministerial face. Not that there are no other contenders who are absent. There are other contenders as well within the state of Himachal Pradesh who claim that they should be made the chief minister. Akash, tell us about the other names. If there are supporters of Pratibha Singh who are sloganeering, there are different kinds of demands, various kind of demands which are being made by the likes of other contenders as well. And these are other heavyweights within the Himachal Pradesh Congress. As of now, I'm showing you the visuals from the Oberoi Hotel, where all three observers are basically coming out. We know that for 6 p.m. this CLP meeting is scheduled, and you know for that these observers are coming out. You can see in the visuals Rajiv Shukla, Bhupesh Baghel, and also Bhupendra Hooda. These leaders are coming out, and they'll be heading to Rajiv Bhavan, which is the Congress office. And you know it is just 800 meters away, and this crucial meeting is going to happen. You asked about the other names, so we know Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu is also in the race. 
space we know that uh, uh, you know some other names are also there but as of now this is this seems like a contest between sukhinder singh sukhu and pratibha singh and as of now i'm showing you these visuals where you can see the observers coming out of the oberoi hotel uh, early in the day they went to rajbhavan as well and you know our sources are telling that they sought time from uh, the uh, governor there and as of now before the clp meeting these are the visuals and in fact you know it is important to mention that a number of mlas met these observers in fact you know specifically pratibha singh met them uh, 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 just when they arrived and just when, when they arrive and you know also we are learning that sukhinder singh sukhu will also be meeting them but as of now these leaders will be heading towards uh, the congress office because at 6 pm we'll be having this crucial meeting and also you know as i mentioned earlier we are learning think that uh, no voting will take place there in the meeting because uh, the ultimate aim uh, is to okay i uh, will try to talk to them as well no no this is generally meeting people and then uh, you know i mean a meeting has been convened with you know mla is they are gradually reaching to simla because people are living in far flung areas so they are gradually reaching here the moment all the mlas are here then we will convene a meeting where a resolution will be passed to authorize the party high command so that means that means you are trying to say that there will no voting procedure will happen on the name of chief minister the voting procedure only takes place when there is a dispute there is no dispute so this is what does the entire and the entire authority to be given to the high command to select the chief minister so ml is concerned what about the ml is concerned what about ml is concerned will you pratibha singh ke brother yahan par kai sare samarthak nazar aaye the jo ki narebazi karte hue nazar aaye observers ki gaadi par All right, all right. So Rajiv Shukla clearly saying that a resolution will be passed and. सर मीटिंग आप क्लेम मत कराओ मीटिंग सर कितने बजे होगी सर मीटिंग All right, all right. So Rajiv Shukla clearly saying that uh, you know a meeting is going to happen, and it was rescheduled because uh, several of the MLAs did not did not arrive there in Shimla, and they are coming from remote areas as well. And this is the reason why this meeting was rescheduled. Also, talking about the particular development. So Anusha, he is clearly saying that no voting will happen, and they'll you know the aim of this CLP is to pass one line resolution. Akash. Um... 